All right, I'm not even going to mind this shameless plug. We, I'm going to lead with the fact that tonight <laughs> on Corner Office, Carlton takes to the sky. <laughs> Literally. Carlton, you really have a fly plane? As a top pilot, I As flew pilot. that oh. plane. You oh. flew a plane. I was so nervous. Yeah. I'm going to fly the plane. Mm. I flew All that right, plane. Maverick. <laughs> right. All right, Maverick. <laughs> All right, let's get it. Check it out. out. All right, let's get it. <laughs> Check it out. Corner office. You don't want to miss it. But we always hear that good friend better than pocket money. But what oh. happens when that good friend asks you for that money and then can't or refuses to pay you back? Gotcha. In today's Money Masterclass, we delve into a delicate yet crucial aspect of personal finance, lending money to friends. As much as we value our friendships, financial transactions between friends can sometimes lead to awkwardness, oh, misunderstandings, and even strained relationships, yes. if not handled with care. Yeah. Carlton is here to share some unspoken rules and strategies for navigating friends and finances. Uh, uh, morning. Yeah. <laughs> morning. And it's not just friends. Sometimes you can yeah. put a slash and put maybe some family mm. as well. You know, I oh, don't yeah. want to, to, to bring that into the mix mm -hmm. as well this morning. But there are several reasons why persons or friends may come to you and say, hey, they want something. They want a loan. They want some money. Number one, they may have an emergency and they did not come to the Money Master class or they did not have the emergency fund in place. Yes. Yeah. So they want to just run Yendi, lend me this because something came up. Mm -hmm. Or they may have had bad credit because, again, they did not come to the master class and right. didn't know about the bad credit aspect mm -hmm. of, of borrowing. So they can't get something because they cannot borrow from the bank. So yeah. Dennis, lend me a quick thing. Or they really can't afford to take on the traditional debt from a bank mm -hmm. or from a lending institution. So these may be some reasons why. But while sometimes you may feel obligated, you know, to lend or we may feel pressured, because I'm a good friend, I'm a childhood friend. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I want to think about a few things before we say yes, before we start lending to these persons around us, consider a few things before. Number one, will this put a strain on my current financial responsibility? Mm -hmm. Because sometimes we don't consider if I give you this $20,000 now, this $30,000 now, how will it impact my current budget? How will it impact my saving fund? Can I do this and pay my light bill? Because it doesn't make sense. I lend the money in the, and the light get cut off. Right. It doesn't really make right. any sense. So assess first, can this impact my current situation? Number two, will they repay? You want to think about it. Possibly, if they don't repay, mm, God, can they repay? Assess the risk. Whatever person is this. Have I loaned them money before? Smaller money and they didn't pay. <laughs> Did they say, buy one bun and cheese for me when I come back and pay the money? And you get the bun and cheese and then I pay the money. Mm -hmm. Look at small things. Just, you know, can I read the room to see if this person is somebody that you want to lend to? And number three, could this possibly harm our relationship? Is it more important? So Dennis was saying earlier, sometimes when they come to take a loan, say, you know what? See the five grand here. Take it. The 10 grand here. Because you want to assess if this will have an impact on the friendship and do I value that more than I value the actual money mm -hmm. that I'm about to lend you. But some do's before you go lending, number one, tell them that you think about it. Don't just say, yeah, man. Tell them, I think about it. I'll check my budget to see if I can afford to. Because what that does mm -hmm. for you is give you some amount of leeway to kind of assess first if you want to. Yeah. Sometimes off the bat when they mm -hmm. ask, you say, yeah, man. No problem. And then you put it in a very awkward spot mm -hmm. because you've already said yes without thinking about or assessing or checking. Right. So tell them up front, I'll check my budget. One good one, Dennis, husbands mm -hmm. can use. I'll talk to my wife and get hey. back in touch with hey. you. Oh, that is always works. That's, it works oh. every it works single every time. Every time. What, you know, so I have to check talk the boss. You know, yeah, so. You've talked to the boss. <laughs> you've talked to the boss. And when you come back and say no, <laughs> you look like I'm not your boss, not the boss. Every <laughs> single time. That always but works. But typically, we are in a cold yeah, in the household. So it always yeah. works. Like, you know, my thing, I'm not the minister. I'm the prime minister of my house. I'm not the minister of finance. So. No. Dennis, <laughs> it works for everything. If not money, it works for everything. Can, you, can, can we go to a particular place? Um, I'm not Talk sure. Talk to my wife. Talk to my wife and see if, if she's I just have you know, I prefer CFO. <laughs> <laughs> but let's tell them. Chief I financial will, officer to uh, you. I will check with my wife. Oh Always my works. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, just make two. sure the boss have enough space for me to forget to throw it under the bus. <laughs> no, yes, trust me. Always. Number two, you want to lend to people who you trust. So yeah. up here yeah. I said, yeah. will they repay you? You want people you can trust. If you know you can't trust a person, do not go down that road. It doesn't actually make sense. Number three, lend what, what you can afford. 
So if it is that when you make the, the, the loan to the person, you're not in a financial hole, that makes sense. And then number three, learn what you can afford to lose. That right. is totally different. That's the key. So yeah, if yeah. they don't pay you back, me not go dead. If yeah. they don't repay you based on the time that you agreed, it is perfectly fine. I won't go under a bus. So you want to check out that as well. If possibly, get it in writing, especially if it's a large, a large amount. amount. You yeah. want to think about that. Because sometimes <coughs> when something is in writing, well, it's an email or what something, mm -hmm. persons may have a visual picture. Because the irony is, sometimes when people borrow, I can't understand. You don't remember to repay. And it's so often, people will borrow, then it's a walk past like, Mm -hmm. no, no, and then maybe after a tour no, or three, watch your status they stop with the status, yeah, yeah, stop, yeah, then yeah. them stop so good morning, and it, it, it just gets the so awkward, yeah, so they forget. If it's in writing, sometimes trans are they will remember the mm -hmm. terms of the condition, I'll mm -hmm. pay you back by the month end, yeah. two months down, but mm -hmm. something that you need no, not to do is oh. to don't guilt lend. Hold on, I have a question though. If you want to say no, what is a polite way of saying no? without compromising the friendship. the friendship. I don't have the liquidity. But, but all, oh, well, then, there you go. Thanks for that. I don't that. have the space. I don't have the space. But I also feel that like the way they respond to it will determine what your friendship really is, yes. eh? But yeah. everything, when... Uh, your, your friendship is determined, not in the good times, but your friendship is determined when time. people don't get what they want, want from you. Yeah, you see yeah. how they respond. Mm. Master Splinter. Master. I generally <laughs> say sometimes. <laughs> it's, not in my, it's not in my budget right now. Yeah. But I consider... I'll let you know. Yeah. You know, I think about it, I'll let you know mm -hmm. how it works. So number one, don't guilt lend. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes emotionally, we tend to do that. Yeah, but if I if I encourage you not to do emotional buying, I still don't do emotional lending either. Mm -hmm. ah, because yeah. sometimes you just go and lend out of emotion, you know, they need it, this is emergency. And then at the end of the day, you are the one who is suffering. So don't guilt lend. A big one is do not co-sign. So sometimes they will say, lend me, and you can't lend this. All right, I'm going to take out a loan. Can you co-sign with me? Oh, God, You're really lending your credit. You're lending your credit, yeah. actually, and you don't want to do that any at all. Mm -hmm. And they'll jump and fly through the gate and then give them what you can't afford, and then you are in problem mm -hmm. with your credit yeah. history. You know, quick, really quick before we go, don't tie them out either. Just cut it. Either you're saying yes or you're saying no, Just but some it. people, yeah, you yeah, can't yeah. say yes, and you feel bad to say no, and you tie them you're out. and tie them along. Let them ask somebody else. Yeah. Just be, be decisive. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Don't fly through the gate and do something that you can't afford to mm -hmm. do. And speaking of flying, remember, I'll yeah. be flying later. Ah, I'll be flying later. Brilliant. <laughs> Check it out. Brilliant. On the corner office. Bowling, bowling Tonight shower. at 8 p.m., <laughs> we'll be looking at a flight school. And in my element, a natural flight star. Oh. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just doing that. So see you later at 8 p.m. Our very own Top Gun, our very own Maverick right, own Maverick right, right. right. here. <laughs> <laughs> then it's on a scale of 1 to 10, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tell the truth. Mm -hmm. How you rate yourself in the kitchen, honestly? Seven and a half. Well, Seven and a half. Carlton? Ten. Oh. I'm a ten in the kitchen. I tell you what, yeah. he's a, she's a chef pilot. <laughs> <laughs> well, after the break, it's all about the Lion Club of Mandeville and the men who cook. All right. Listen, yes. it's about to be really good. Please stay with us here on Sunrise. Right. Watch this gentleman put Carlton and Dennis to shoot. <laughs> well, he's a <laughs> chef. He's, he's a chef.